This is Raptor News, and I praise God for anyone who contributed. Uh, may you get tenfold back, you know. And I'll say this, it is no crime to be poor. It is no crime for your vehicle to break down. It's no, it's no crime to have a bunch of children. It is no crime to be on Section 8 or food stamps. And, you know, we got off of it, but it, that didn't make us rich. You know what I mean? We still in a, even worse predicament because now we the money that we were using to buy food and everything with that we have to come up with it on our own you know i wanted to more like trust in god and sometimes you know you you, you bite the bullet man uh when you're trying to just I'm, I'm trying to get out of the system and just get into the system of trusting in god instead of trusting in man you know putting all my trust and faith in god instead of having to depend on i don't go to the hospital you know, I don't go to the bank. I don't go to this. I don't go to that. You know, basically, I just live my life out here set apart in the wilderness. That's that's what I do. And I preach the word, you know, and I preach it hard because I know who, what I'm dealing with. I'm dealing with, you know, a bunch of wicked people who backslide and sin, you know. And sometimes you got to scream to wake them up, man. You just got to. And I'm the hollerer, you know. I'm going to scream to wake you up. But there's other times you can't keep one face all the time. You got to be nice. You, you got to show different sides of yourself, man. You know, I'm just not a one-track person. Uh, anyway, just like I said, it is no crime to be poor. It's no crime to have a busted vehicle. I have a busted vehicle. I've been telling people that vehicle was about to go down. I couldn't afford to fix that vehicle. Just like I couldn't afford to finish the, the pond that we started or the solar that we started. Uh, we, we do things, one like I was saying about the trees. You know, one little thing at a time, one tree at a time, one brick at a time. That's how we did this. You know, and it, it, it comes after so many years, it all start coming together. You know what I mean? But we just did what we could do. You know, the chickens that we buy, they like a dollar or something. You know what I mean? they pretty affordable and then they start having chickens on their own um yeah and then like I'm, I'm pretty sure a lot of people can see eye to eye with me you know I got a large family you know we had a family of eight and basically it's hard to feed eight people especially when you have nothing you know what I mean hard to feed eight people you know and especially if you're not on government assistance or anything else tremendously hard you know, it's like I watch the people when I got a big family in the store. They just wait for you to pull out an EBT card or something. You know what I mean? They just like, yeah, they judging you and all that kind of stuff. You know, and they just shocked if you pull out some cash or an ATM card. You know, they kind of shocked. But um, yeah, it comes sometimes, man, to the point. And like I said, I know some of you guys agree that y you got to pay a bill or you're gonna eat. And we have to juggle like that. And, you know, and then, you know, when you're poor, you got to buy poor people food and shit. You know what I mean? Noodles. You know what I mean? Bologna. Things that we, we ain't supposed to be eating. But since we can't really afford to eat like we're supposed to eat, you know. And then even growing your own food out here. This is the desert. Uh, last summer, the desert fried uh probably about 75 percent of our our plants and trees just fried it the de the desert did well I, the devil probably but um yeah so it's it's a blessing man it, like blessed are the poor you know what i mean because god is testing us and we still in this faith no matter how hard this test is no matter how racist people is no matter how much people hate no matter how much people disagree with us we still in this struggle together you know what i mean and uh, if, if I can help you, and like I said, I pour my heart and soul into it. I stay up all hours of the night working on things. So, And my focus with you is salvation. It is. Whether people agree with me or not, I, I'm not asking people to agree with me. I'm just asking you to save your own soul from hell. Because I care about you. White, black, yellow, green, and brown. Whether you think I do or not. Sometimes I'll be saying the beast of the field and all that kind of stuff. And people don't understand what I'm doing. I'm saving your fucking soul from your pride, man. You know, your arrogancy and all the rest of your your hate, your intolerance, your a lack of uh, empathy. You know what I mean? But, you know, again, people, I'm um, just trying to keep it as short as possible. 
but you know i love everybody man that care everybody that no matter how hard the society gets you still have a heart and you care for people and things and animals and trees and and and, and all of the goodness of god you still care about the scripture and the word and that people live right man you still have integrity you know what i mean I, I, I really love you. I care about you. And that is from my heart. It ain't just bullshit ass talking and shit. You know. And it's awesome. You know. For the people who contribute. It's awesome that you did that. And like I said. Tenfold for you. Uh, God willing. Strap the news.